Hi there. I'm Dan Frago. You may remember me from earlier episodes of The Apple Teeny. Uh, I'm not Ken, and you might be wondering, why is Dan sitting behind the Apple Teenies on Apple Teenies with Ken? Well, if you watched last week's episode, you know what happened to Ken. He was left alone with his five kids. If you haven't watched last week's episode, click over here, find it, watch it. I'll wait. Funny stuff, right? That top ten list, good stuff. So this week, it's me, me and the Elvises, or, or Elvi. I'm not exactly sure what the plural term for Elvis would be, but it's me and them, and uh, the Appletinis. Yes, I have two Appletinis sitting here. That means I have a guest this week. Ken hasn't had a guest in a while. I've got a guest. It's a big guest. You may be familiar with the movie Mr. Baseball, starring uh, that guy with the mustache back there. The incredible facial, facial lip hair. Um, I've got Mr. Baseball. Let me go ahead and bring him on out. Come on out, Mr. Baseball. Mr. Baseball. It's me! That's right! It's me! I'm a guest on my own show. I love it. Woo! Woo! So they are good and strong this week. This week, You strong. made them. You make them strong, right? A little bit. All right, when you're hosting the <clears throat> show, I like it. Wow. <laughs> Today, the first Friday in June, is National Donut Day. National Donut Day. Who knew? Donuts and teenies. Can't beat it. Mmm, yum, yum, good. I love me some donuts. Next year, don't get caught unaware. First Friday in June. Mark your calendar for 2010. But I brought something for you. You did? Yes, of course I did. I brought a headshot. Are okay. you ready? No. I brought a headshot. Ooh. Look, and Matt Ribs headshot. I believe that headshot came out of his ass, did it not? That's right, it did. Yeah, it? we don't want that. All right, uh, Matt. And, and you don't get to touch the donuts anymore. Uh, you know what else I brought you? The Ken, Ken Arnold the headshot. Ken Arnold headshot. Look, look at, at that headshot. Apple. Woo! Look at him. Good it's like a out. young Ed Harris. I made my own wall of fame, believe it or not. Woo! Dude, these donuts are freaking, yeah, are. these freaking are awesome. We're going to take a moment of silence. Oh, um, yeah, this is bad. Go ahead. Rest in peace, Grasshopper. Bummer. The 48 Hour Film Project. We have another one coming up. That's right. Our last one went, turned out pretty well. You can find it. We're going to link it. It's called He Drove. You've probably already seen it if you're watching this, but if you're not, check it out. It won the Audience Favorite Award for our screening group. It did not win other awards, but um, kudos to our friends Joy and Barry and that whole crew over there at Integral Arts. And Joy is actually going to join us when we do our... Um, our film in Baltimore she uh, is. next weekend. You know, I got to make out with her once. You did? I did. Okay. It was acting. All right, people. I got to make out with Joy Haynes. So, uh, you know, we were acting in a scene. Uh, it wasn't real. She's a good kisser, though. Is she? Mm. Here's the, pretend, ki pretend good kisser? A good pretend kisser. Here, here's to you, Joy. I'm doing a play. I'm back on stage. You are? I am. What's the name of the show? The name of the show is The Foley Artist, and it is going to be part of the Fringe Festival in Washington, D.C. Outstanding. It opens uh, Friday, July 10th at midnight. Midnight. Who does that? I don't know. That's kind of late, but you it know is... what? I'll be there, but not for that show. Not that show. Yeah. I don't know that I'll be there for that show. Nah, Fringe really. Festival is fun, though. You get paid for that. Sometimes. Not this time. No? No. <gasps> and I play the uh, the douchebag lead actor in the TV show. Radio show, because there wasn't TV yet. Not you. I do. Yeah, the douchebag. It's a funny thing. Chris Hickle emails me. Chris is the guy that I went to college with, and, and I'm going to bring in... I'm new name dropping, because there's a whole new circle of people we're bringing into the Appletini. <laughs> he emails me, says, I get this part, you're perfect for it. And I read the script, I was like, this guy's an asshole. Apple Teeny. <laughs> and we're going to get into our top ten for this week. It's the summer season. It's summer, people. Can I do the numbers and then you do the... Sure. The top 10 things we love about this summer's blockbusters. Number 10. Two words. Michael Bay. Boom! Blow shit up all awesome. the time. Number 9. Christian Bale. That is so unprofessional. How many times have I told you, all right, when I'm on camera... All right, you're not supposed to be talking. I'm, I'm sorry. It won't happen again, Mr. Arnold. You just... Go it. And Terminator Salvation. Terminator, which I did see. I got a weekend. My wife and I, we got a weekend without our kid. 
Ken's down here hiding from his kids. We got a weekend without ours completely. I'm hiding. Saw three movies. Uh, we saw Terminator. Is that what you guys did all weekend? Just see movies? We never see. No. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty dog, you. Teenage! We saw Terminator Salvation. Very, very good. Yeah. Christian Bale. Christian Bale. But he's in a movie with. What's his name? Johnny Dude. Depp. Johnny Depp. What's the song without Johnny Depp? Well, yeah. Right? And it's not Jack Sparrow, it is James Dillinger. They're gonna be in Public Enemies together. Looks great. Oh, donuts. Number eight. Disney Pixar. What's a summer without a Disney Pixar movie? Cars. Wally. -E. Finding Nemo. Toy Story. Up. Toy Story 2. Up. Up. So up. It is an outstanding movie. At some point, Academy. You are going to have to start recognizing some of these animated films as best picture. We're on TV, look! Seven. Hugh Jackman. He's Wolverine. He is Wolverine. And he can sing too. You know what? I hope they make Wolverine 2 the musical. That, that would be funny. How cool would that be? I mean, dude, talented. I mean, during the Oscars, sang yeah. all over the place. And Anne Hathaway should be in it too, because she sang all she over sang the place. She sang too. And Anne Hathaway is... Hot. She's hot. No, no that's my. No, I want that one. I took the first place. I, no, I don't care. Six. Star Trek. Saw that one too. Star Trek. Oh my God. How much fun was that? It was awesome. Right? It Chris was Pine. Awesome. The new Captain Kirk. Do you know Loving who, it. Do you know who his dad was? No. Who his, was his dad, dad was the captain on ships. I love J.J. Abrams. Lost. Mm -hmm. Lost is Wrong. my favorite. Final season of Lost coming up next next January. I don't know what I'm going to do when it's over. But they're on the island and they're looking for themselves on the island in the past? Is that what we're... Well, no, because some of them are in the past and some of them are in the present. But the present for them is still 2007. Five. There it is. Harry Potter. Harry Potter with the scar. What's a summer without Harry Potter? I mean, really? I mean... How... Expecto Patronum! How many summers have they done this? They're like 35 now, right? I don't know, but if somebody doesn't tap that butt, Hermione, all right? Somebody doesn't tap that? Tap that Hermione. Yeah. It's time to hit it. Because they didn't push the button? Because they didn't push the button, and then there's the bomb. Okay. Four. Four. Inglorious bastards. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Can't with, act with a Kentucky Kentucky accent. Yeah. But Quint Quint this is Quentin Tarantino saying, I want to make a World War II movie, but I want to make it the way I made Pulp Fiction. Flight A-15. Right. Okay. It's not the plane that just crashed. The Dharma Initiative. Yes. Okay. Well, it'll all be clear, I think. Right, Jillian? Three! It's summer. What's summer without a Judd Apatow movie? That's right. It's called Funny People. Funny and People. it has Adam Sandler in it. It has Funny People. You know what it does not have? At least as far as I can tell. It does not have... Jason Siegel's junk in it. His That's man right. junk. I, it was a lot of man junk in the last one. Forgetting Sarah Marshall? I've, I'm not trying to forget Sarah Marshall. I'm trying I'm, to forget yeah. Jason Siegel's penis. Too much man junk. Judd Apatow, put us in your f***ing movies. I ain't showing my man junk. Uh-uh. <laughs> Number two. And how cool is this? Number two. G.I. Joe. Ho. Oh. Real American hero. I mean... G.I. Joe we grew was up there. When Transformers and oh. G.I. Joe were the afternoon cartoons. You came home, Captain Chesapeake, Speed Racer, Transformers, G.I. Joe. What about Thundercats? I'm waiting for that movie. You know, it's probably in production. All right, I love Thundercats too. <coughs> and number one. And number one. Number one. The number one best thing about this summer's Hollywood blockbusters, Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Oh, Did you see the trailer? What? She's... Dude, she is the hottest thing ever! There's the new trailer. If you haven't seen it, when you're done with this Apple Teeny, go Google it. YouTube it. It, it. She's leaning over a motorcycle. And it's it's fantastic cinematography. The plural of Elvis is Elvi. But, but it's Elvis... There's an S at the end of it. I'm Dan Franco. This has been Apple Teenies with Ken. Wait, don't go. Have some more Apple Teeny. This is my Christopher Walken impersonation. Uh, thank you to my guest, Ken Arnold, for, for coming on the show. Well, and thanks for having me on the show. Thank you for having me on your show. To have you on your show. Okay, you're welcome. You know who we're going to have next week? The real Mr. Baseball, Tom Selleck. That's right. If his agent ever gets back to me, he will.
I'm holding, I'm keeping faith, man. I'm keeping faith. You gotta keep faith. You gotta keep faith. That was a Bon Jovi song. You gotta keep faith. Keep the faith. And you gotta rock the Jovi. Now go watch the Megan Fox Transformers trailer. She's hot! And go watch He Drove. Happy National Donut Day. <laughs>